Hey, Joanna here. All right, I'm so excited to actually share this project with you all. It's those overlapping images and elements that you can really create with Canva and with all the amazing features that we have right now. It is just really great to see what are the possibilities that we can create. Hey, Savvies, my name is Joanna. I'm the creator and founder of Savvy Chic Design. I am your branding graphic and web designer and I'm also your Canva certified creative. So I will be showing to you all how you actually can create this one. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so as you can see here, we have the blank canvas, which is going to be the 1080 by 1080, which is an Instagram post. So we are gonna select a certain image. Mostly what I did was select a solid color of outfit that the model or somebody is actually wearing. It kind of gives that consistency with the background that we're going to be creating and also the outfit that the person is actually wearing. So for this tutorial, let's go ahead and kind of somehow work with the color pink. So here's an amazing, wonderful lady with a pink dress, more of a pastel color. And we are going to be using the feature called the background remover. This feature is for Canva Pro user. So if you're actually using the free version in the description above, go ahead and check out our link um, that you can use. Disclaimer, that is uh, affiliate link. So I get a certain portion or a small amount to do all of this training as well. And But it won't cost you anything. So as you can see here, we've already removed the background, white background. Now we're going to select um, the background of the main canvas so as you can see here her dress is more all towards the palette now I am really just eyeing this one out what you can actually do is either what you can actually do is either go through um, the color picker or as well as Adobe color or the canvas color generator to really generate the color palette that is closely related with the dress and the background. But as you can see here, I'm just moving around the color palette um, just to see how consistent I can be or close this as I can be with the dress that she is wearing. Now that we have selected and somehow have the color that is similar to her dress, we are going to go to shapes and we are going to use the square to move around and make that frame, right? So the frame that we're using right now that will serve like there's going to be an overlap, um, like a Polaroid, Polaroid film type of look. So that's one thing that you can really do. So I adjust a little bit of the image to kind of hide it around, um, see which part and section you want to highlight so that you can really use that one too. So I just move around the square and then now I'm gonna do the side frames and also the top frame. So make it a little bit more of a thinner, um, thinner line or a thinner side. So I'm just adjusting a bit that won't look like a little bit off and just like maybe towards the head as well. I'm gonna click on duplicate. So you can either click shape again or duplicate it and then move it towards the side as well. Then duplicate it again for the top. Now, as you can see here, it will actually cover her head because when you're designing, it's going to be layer, right? So the next new design or element that you'll be using will actually be on top of the previous layer. So go ahead and click on position. You're going to position which of the elements you want to go forward or backward. So as you can see here, I've already put the back, uh, the line on top of her head behind her. And now I'm just adjusting to see because I want her to pop and really just move accordingly and then just crap a little bit more of the bottom so that it will really look more uniform as well. Now, of course, I'm just going to bring more elements. So when you're creating graphics or when you're creating some designs that you can use, I always say that be on brand and live a little bit of your brand marks or brand element in the graphics that you're designing. Maybe a simple website URL that you have or your logo that you have. You want to create that certain familiarity of what you are creating as well, especially when you are building your brand online. And if you're using Canva, which is such an amazing tool for business entrepreneurs, 
tools because as a graphic designer web designer that's my number one tool that I really use because the collaboration that it can really create so as you can see here so um, uh, as you can see here right there's a lot of things that you can do now I'm gonna just download this new design that we have created with a pink pastel um, of this amazing good-looking lady that we have selected here I'm just gonna save it be part of the frames that I have created because I want also to let you see how I created like the grid type that I have done already or maybe you have been following me on social media please do make sure that you subscribe into our channel as well as check out our business page on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and Pinterest as well. So I'm just going to go and look for that grid that I have. So this is actually what I created at first. I don't have the pastel pink. I have a little bit of dark pink. Um, and I just want to add that pastel and kind of just work around, right? So as you can see here, this is like an Instagram grid. So I have everything. I use full folders and subfolders to get organized. Um, if you actually would like to check that one out, visit my Visual Savvy community on Facebook. I actually have a live training on this one as well so I'm gonna do a grid I'm gonna go to grid section I'm gonna choose the three grids that I have I'm just gonna adjust it accordingly for now but later on I'm gonna adjust it really more on what I want it to look so I'm just gonna drag and drop the images that I want in an interval of colors creating that more consistency creating that more um, professional look on how I would like it to be so there's really more in intentional planning of which color I want to highlight more, right? Um, so more towards the pastel and everything. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy both of the grid because I want to retain the consistency of the size um, for the next six set or the next um, grid, right? So that's how it is. Adjust it accordingly, then drag and drop again um, the images that you would like to look to use um, again you know work around it see which color play around if you want to adjust accordingly and it's really just going to be fun doing this as well and of course if you've actually done this one please do feel free to um, to comment or to maybe send me your designs um, one of the things that I really do love as a savvy um, as a savvy um, creative is to really see people taking action and what they are learning because it really does hone your skills so as you can see here I'm just adjusting accordingly I want to leave some room to have text again always on brand leaving some brand elements that you would like to have I want to make sure that we leave a little bit of our mark so I could repurpose this one through an Instagram post a my story post a Pinterest post this is actually a Pinterest size um, if I'm correct that I've uh, selected as a dimension already so I'm just gonna add a little bit of my logo so yeah this is something that I know you can all um, all do for your business see that amazing design that you can truly create with canva so again guys my name is joanna i'm the creator and founder of savvy chic design and i also your canva creative i'm um, certified creative make sure to subscribe to our channel thank you